Garmin devices can do great things to help you manage your flights, but you'll need to keep the databases updated to ensure that you're operating with current information. This three-part video series and the associated handouts are intended to help you with this process, and we urge you to review this material in its entirety prior to conducting your first updates. There are two methods used to install database updates to the G1000 NXI, the tried and true method of installing from an SD card, and the time-saving method of using database concierge from your Flightstream 510. We'll look at both methods in this series. Database management starts at the Fly Garmin homepage, where you will find the Garmin account sign-in section. If you already have an account, enter the email address and password and select sign-in. If you need to set up an account, click on Create One. On the Fly Garmin homepage, you'll see tabs across the top of the page that provide quick access to different sections of Fly Garmin. Take your time to become familiar with the different sections as they provide detailed information about resources available to you from Garmin. If you'll be using Jeppesen databases and charts, one of the first things you will want to do here is link your Jeppesen account to your Fly Garmin account which will enable database concierge to access and download your Jeppesen databases. If your aircraft has been set up with a Jeppesen account, you should have received instructions from Jeppesen, including a link to the Fly Garmin webpage for linking your Jeppesen account. On that page, enter your Jeppesen credentials and then click on Link Jeppesen Account. Once you've linked your accounts, you'll see that database concierge integration for your Jeppesen account is enabled and you can verify that the aircraft and system ID shown is accurate. Any wrong numbers or dashes showing here will cause the Jeppesen database to not install on your system. Next, select the Home tab. The next thing you'll want to do is install Fly Garmin for Windows, which is a program that you need for installing databases when using SD cards. On the lower right side of the home page, locate and click on Fly Garmin for Windows. On the Fly Garmin for Windows page, you can read all about this program and then click on the Download for Windows selector at the top right of the window. Note that you could also select the Download for Mac link if you need that software instead. Once the file is downloaded, simply click on the file, click on Run, and then Review and Agree to the Terms and Conditions, followed by clicking on Install you will be prompted to launch the program when you begin database downloads from within Fly Garmin. Now, select Home to return to the home page. Now, select the Devices tab to take you to the page where you can add your aircraft and devices. Click on Add Device or Add Aircraft to begin this process. See your SD card update handout for the information you will need to add an aircraft and a device to your account. Note that if you provided your aircraft delivery representatives with your Fly Garmin sign-in information, they may have already entered the information for your aircraft, in which case, all you would need to do is click on your device when you're ready to install updates. To purchase updated databases and charts for your system, from the Devices and Aircraft page, select your device. Next, you'll see a list of databases that are available for installing or updating. On new aircraft, you may see not installed on the database lines. This occurs because the installed databases on new airplanes were factory installed, and the Fly Garmin site is not aware of that installation. This doesn't affect your ability to download new databases. Now select Install Updates, and then select Update Expired Databases. Under Selected for Update, Make sure there is a check mark next to all of the selections desired. At the bottom of the list, you may find a checkbox for Jeppesen charts. While these can be downloaded through Fly Garmin, you will need to have a Jeppesen account and purchase the charts through them before they can be accessed here. For assistance with setting up a Jeppesen account and purchasing charts, email captain at jeppesen.com. Once all the databases have been selected for download, you then select Launch Fly Garmin Desktop to begin the download process. As you can see, the Fly Garmin Desktop application is opened and begins to search for your SD card. Insert an SD card and the process begins. Once all the files are installed on an SD card, 
Use the SD card update handout or see Appendix B of your pilot's guide for guidance on the installation process. This completes our first video in the series. View the second video in the series to see a demonstration of the SD card database update process. And if you plan to use the database concierge to conduct database updates, be sure to view the third video in this series.